Well, fellas, I found it. Yeah, Vibe, this is my plane. This is the Scott Hawks guy that went down uh, about, let's see, she went down around July 28th. And boy, I was bummed out too, because this is an easy, easy flying plane. It's got ailerons. You know, I don't even use the rudder, man. I just, I just uh, don't. You don't need it, man. It's just, it's like it flies graciously. And uh, the engine, after sitting out that long, and all that, uh, we have real, real bad thunderstorms here. I mean, real bad, and high, high winds. It didn't even affect that motor. The uh, the whole body had like mud on it from the rain splatting on it, and uh, yeah, that's right. I kind of got a. I'm a little rebel. I got an apple sticker or sticker on there, but uh, yeah, just uh, it, it, nothing but the dripless of mud. I, I washed it with soap and water, and uh, shoot, man, the thing come out like brand new. And uh, might have to touch up a little, a few spots. Uh, but other than that, you know, the tape. Well, I might just take. I'm gonna take the tape off and retape some areas that I got taped, like the front end, so it won't get squashed. But uh, and here's the one of the radios. Vite, me and you were talking about one of these. But uh, the thing is, now I'm trying to program it, and I, and I think I got it. So if you buy one. Holla at me, and I'll walk you through the uh, the process. It's it's real simple. Uh, like I said, I believe I got it, but as I was goofing around with it, I started getting um, a response from my Hawks guy from this the tail and the uh, elevator and all that. Started working with this, but my batteries and this is real, and the radio's real low, and then my battery for my planes real low. And I think my charges are both out. You know, they come with the planes and stuff, and so, uh, you know, they're real, they're real, real ge generic. So, kind of bummed about that. Let's see what the other side of this thing looks like. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a Dynam. But yes, sir, buddy, with this, with these big long wings. Man, this thing, it sails, man. That's all it does is sail. And uh, you cut that engine off and it just... Matter of fact, when you're coming in for a landing, all you got to do is just... Uh, when you're about 100 foot up and you're fixing to come down and you got a good level on it and it planed off real good, or you can just cut the engine off, man, and just work your, uh, work your elevators and there you are, big guy. You're going in. And Vibe, I'm getting a, uh, me and you laugh about it and stuff like that, but I'm getting a, I for really am too, I'm getting us, a, I'm getting me a, a Super Cub with the uh, anti-crash technology. And I mean, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, I'm going to brush up my flying a little bit better. And I got the old, I got the old uh, A5. I guarantee you she's ready to go. That thing was, uh, that thing was about to shoot off through the, uh, through the wall itself. I mean, it, it's got, uh, I got the engine from uh, Hobby King. And it's a Turnagy also. And I mean, it's a one tough puppy, but I mean, oh, it screams. So... And I will have that filmed when I do that. It it could possibly be tonight, which, well, I kind of doubt that. But this weekend, for sure, I'm going to throw it in the water and at least get it taken off. And these props I got on here are, are speed props. They come off the F-27 Striker. And, uh, you know, of course, those were known for their, their power and their speed. But uh, this thing made it, man, through... Through through all the storm and uh, for four weeks, and now the only the way it, I think it landed on top of the corn, and then after the winds, you know, I was looking totally in the opposite direction. It it was about two thousand feet away from me, and I just saw it was making like these uh, circles, real gentle circles, in about a 
probably 100 foot, 100 foot round circles, just slowly going down, slowly going down, then finally I didn't see it no more. So uh, I imagined it just rested itself on top of the uh, the corn and it looked like it did. Then all of a sudden, I guess a few weeks later when the rain hit, it blew it down and I found the, uh, I, f I found the, uh, let's see what we got. I found the cut, the top right there off of it and I, f I foamed all this in. I use a lot of this foam, this, this foam in a can, in case if you didn't know, I use a lot of this and it prevents getting them crunched in noses. Uh, you know, a lot of guys, they'll crash right here. Let me move this radio. They'll crash right up in here and they get those noses that uh, they're crinkled up or they'll butt them up and, or they're smashed looking like somebody's nose. <laughs> So what I do is I, I, I mean I fill it up full of uh, full of the and you don't have to you don't have to try to tape it in or nothing. Just make sure you got all your electronics out the way. I mean ever, get them all out the way big time and and use common sense. I mean just use common sense. But uh, I got this thing packed with uh, with this foam which is real tough. And it'll come up about up to here. I tried to like use tape to conceal it, but no, man, it's real light when it goes in. But as it expands, it'll blow that tape right off. I did another plan. I did the whole fuselage uh, right here. I did the whole thing. I pumped it full, full, and then I started. It was coming out of everywhere, and I was like, "Oh man, if I if I if I do that, it's it's gonna it's, it would have blown the fuselage in half." So what I did, I had drilled the hole back here, uh, like back here, and what I had to do after that was drill a relief hole right here, so it had a place to come out. Uh, I mean, it was coming out on the way back side of the engine room, and it worked. So that thing's full, full, and uh, there's no leaks or nothing. As a matter of fact, that's on my A5, my uh, Icon. I mean, I got that thing souped up, and I got a, a Piper Cub, the little yellow ones that I got. Uh, fix, I'm fixing to foam it tomorrow. I got, I'm pulling everything out of it, and... Uh, I'm gonna hook it up real good, and we're gonna uh, foam it up. And Vipe, I hope your stuff's coming along, man. Uh, I ain't heard from him. You're a Jimbo. Jimbo might be out there flying. I know he likes to uh, zoom off them cliffs and stuff. He might have fell off into the bay or something. But yeah, buddy, if you get uh, one of these radios, they, they're kind of intimidating when you first look at the instructions. But if you follow them step by step, you're not going to have no problem, man. And uh, from, what I, uh, from what I understand, it's a real, real good basic radio for, uh, for beginners, you know, which we are. And then I got some more motors for my cub I wrecked I wrecked it smashed flash down uh, this is something like a 2410 but it's not but it's got just as much power but I'm debating whether to put that one in or put this one in this one runs on a 7.4 battery and uh come here boy and if I can get that that one put in but I ain't got no 7.4 batteries. And it's, it's all ready to go. The thing about uh, Turnigy is all their, uh, all their engines, you know, they got, they got, it's like they're backwards. You know, you gotta, you gotta mount them like this, you know, where the wires are, and then connect the other connectors to this. So, which is fine with me. I think you get more power out of it, personally. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, uh, these are nice, nice motors. Got, uh, I haven't had any fault with any one of them.